We have a ton of fun fishing for salmon. Ever since moving to Alaska a few years ago, salmon has just become a huge part of our lives. And we're gonna be cooking up five different salmon recipes that we absolutely love. And we're starting with salmon coconut curry. This is a great recipe if you have salmon in the freezer that's getting a little bit older because you're gonna add a ton of flavor to this fish. Let's get going on it. We love to serve this curry over some rice. So we got rice cooking in the back. We got a whole can of coconut milk here. And we're just gonna put this in a pan and we're gonna get it to a simmer real quick. This is gonna be pretty much the base of our sauce. I'm also gonna be adding a whole bunch of spices. I've got them all right here, but it's mainly coriander, cumin. We got some ginger powder and salt and pepper in there. We've also got some turmeric in there and that's giving it this just beautiful yellow color. We like our curry spicy, so we're gonna do quite a few of these dried chilies. Okay, hey, that's gonna be spicy. We're gonna put the lid on this, just get it to a light simmer for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna start working on filleting up our salmon. I've got two sockeye salmon fillets that we caught down in Seward about eight months ago. So this fish has been in the freezer for eight months. We've got a tail piece, which is a beautiful piece of meat. There's no bones in that piece. And we've got the other section that's a little further up on the fish, and there is some bones in it right there. We take our little tweezers and pull those bones out real quick. If these salmon were fresh, we would just cut this into chunks and we leave the skin on there. But since they're a little bit older, we're gonna take the skin off and then I'm just gonna cut these into the size chunks that we want. They're gonna be pretty small chunks, about that big. To our curry sauce that is simmering, we're gonna add the salmon and we're gonna add everything I just chopped up, which is an onion, a shallot, a couple cloves of garlic, and some bell pepper. This is simple. This is like a one pan meal. We're just gonna leave this covered at a simmer for about five to 10 minutes until the salmon is done and then we're gonna be ready to eat. That's it, super easy to serve up on a bed of rice, a little fresh bell pepper on top. Let's give this a try, it smells so good. Mmm, that's delicious. That is spicy. We're starting on a salmon cheese dip for lunch today. We're gonna have it with little pieces of bread. Very excited. And this is actually sockeye salmon that we harvested back in the spring or early summer months in Seward. And this is some of the salmon that we scraped out of the carcasses after we filleted them. We take a little spoon and scrape them and get all this extra really good meat. So far we've just got the salmon cooking and now I'm gonna be adding a shallot and onions and we're gonna be adding in some garlic and olive oil. We're gonna go heavy on the olive oil. Wanna make sure we have a lot of that in this. We're also chopping up some pickled peppers or pepperoncinis, banana peppers. And there's a lot of onions and garlic in this. We're also gonna be adding some herbs. I've got sage, rosemary, and a little bit of thyme. And we cannot forget salt and pepper. And that is just about ready for our heavy cream. We're gonna be adding some heavy cream and a bunch of kefir cheese.
This is super simple. There's already so much flavor in here. We're gonna be putting this in our oven at 350 for about 10 minutes now. Okay, this is totally piping hot. So we have to wait a while before we can even dig in. And in the meantime, we are going to be toasting up little bread that we have, get it nice and crispy. Check that out. We've got our cheesy salmon dip all ready. And I'm just gonna dip right in there with one of these crispy breads and see how it turned out. That was a big bite. So good, so simple. I, I mean, I just taste mainly the salmon. Really, really good. This is delicious. We're making salmon patties. This is one of my favorite ways to eat salmon. So quick and easy to make. We make it all the time and we're gonna be using canned salmon today. So far we've just got garlic and onion in our bowl and we've got a few different kinds of canned salmon here. This is the one we're gonna to use today. This is silver salmon or coho and this is garlic ginger. So this has been smoked and canned. We've got another coho salmon. This one's really good for fish patties. And this is tomato sauce, hot sauce. And then this is kind of our original. This is just sockeye salmon with salt and pepper. And this has also been smoked and canned. So when you're making this, canned salmon usually has some liquid in there that comes out of the fish when you can it. We don't want to use that. So we're going to drain off the liquid of this one real quick. And then this is silver salmon that we left the skin on in this batch. So I'm gonna pull it out of the jar and we are gonna be pulling the skin off of this one. Canned salmon is already cooked. So this is cooked salmon we're working with here. And the main things we like to add is gonna be an egg. You want this to stick together. So I'm gonna put one egg in there and then we're gonna do cornmeal. We're probably gonna put about a quarter cup of this in there. In go our spices, got an herb mixture, a little bit of cumin, and a nice dose of salt and pepper. And you can put anything you want in these. This is kind of just a basic one we're doing today. We're gonna get this all mixed up. You wanna kind of break that salmon up with the fork, get the egg mixed in there. That's a tiny bit drier than I want. So I'm gonna add one more egg in there. That should be perfect. And we're gonna get our skillet heated up and we're gonna cook some salmon patties. We got a little olive oil down in the pan and a little moose fat. We're gonna kind of fry these up. I like to use these little egg rings here. They kind of hold the patty together. So we're gonna cook these for about four to five minutes on each side till they're nice and crispy. Sam patties are done. We're gonna plate them up. This is a honey balsamic that we like to put on there. It's basically just honey with a tiny bit of balsamic. And we got a red pepper relish and we're gonna put a little sesame seeds on top. That's it, these are done. They look amazing. Another great way to eat these is throwing them on a bun and you got yourself a salmon burger. Let's give these a try. Those are great. The honey on there, the pickled veggies. This is delicious. We're gonna eat dinner. We're making our fourth salmon meal, which also happens to be our lunch. And we are going to be using some of this candied smoked salmon that we made last spring. It's sockeye salmon and we brined it first and we smoked it in the smoker. And so it turned out 
absolutely awesome. First, we have to get a flatbread going for this, and that's really simple. We have a teaspoon of active dry yeast that we have activated in three quarters of a cup of warm water. We're gonna be adding that to our bowl first. We're gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt, and then we like to add a little bit of sugar, another teaspoon of that, and then about a tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna give this a quick stir, and then we're gonna be adding in our flour. And I have two cups of flour set aside. I have half a cup of wheat and then about a cup and a half of all purpose. Stow is a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna add a little more olive oil. And you don't need to knead it for that long, just till it kind of comes together and then we're gonna be putting it by the wood stove and letting it double in size. There we go. Our dough is ready to be made into flatbread and we've got the oven preheating at 425. And I'm not too picky about what shape we're making this. I'm just going for like a little bit of an oblong or oval shape. I'm just gonna stretch the dough out until it's the desired thickness that I want. That looks pretty good to me. We're gonna let this cook for a little bit in a cast iron skillet and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. got a nice thick layer of pesto that we just made going on our flatbread and then the only other things we're really adding beyond the salmon is some feta cheese and some of these caramelized onions that we made. I'm just removing the salmon skin and I'm going to be flaking it and just putting these little chunks on our bread. And this salmon is super sticky. Not only did we brine it in sugar but then we also coated it heavily when it was smoking with honey and cowboy candy marinade. We're finishing this off with olive oil and a bunch of different herbs and lastly I'm going to add a little bit of our spruce salt mixture and this just has to go back into the oven and cook for a little bit longer. This looks delicious. Lunch is served. We're moving on to our last salmon meal. And this is gonna be a good one. We're gonna make salmon chowder. We actually haven't made this in a while, so I'm looking forward to this and it is a cold day outside, so I'd love some soup. This is Kasilov sockeye salmon. We caught this in our dip nets. So we're gonna get this sauteing up. A little bit of olive oil here. While the salmon's cooking, we're gonna get the soup going. I got a white onion, a shallot, two red onions. We're gonna get those going in some olive oil. And we don't have a lot of fresh ingredients for this one, but we do have some good stuff. We have some chicken broth we made. We have canned carrots from last year, and we ran out of fresh potatoes. So we're gonna be using a jar of canned potatoes. Okay, let's add our chicken broth. We're gonna do a full quart in here. We're gonna give our carrots and our potatoes a little rinse here, and then they're gonna go in the pot with our chicken broth. And we've got a handful of frozen peas going in here. Let's get this up to a boil. We've added about two cups of milk and we're gonna add our herbs. We've got sage, dill, and thyme. So that's gonna go in there. And then we're gonna use this to thicken it up a little bit. This is a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of flour.
So last two ingredients going in. We got a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream and we're gonna put our salmon in. We're just gonna flake it in here. Nice big chunks and then we'll put the lid on and this soup's pretty much done. So we're just gonna let everything heat up about five minutes and we'll be ready to try it. What do you think? This looks amazing. Yeah, it smells good too. And I, I don't know if it's quite cool enough to try yet. Are you gonna try some? Yeah, I wanna try a little bit of this broth. Oh, it's nice and thick. Oh that's my good. gosh, that's probably the best chowder we've ever made. That's really good. Mm. Eric and I did a lot of salmon fishing last year and we had a blast doing it. And naturally we ended up with a lot of, a lot of salmon. Yes. So once the salmon has sat for a little while in a freezer, it doesn't quite taste as good fresh and that's probably my favorite way to eat salmon right just fresh yeah it sits in the freezer a little while it gets a little fishy so you got to get creative recipes like the ones we've done in this video are just awesome ways to eat this fish just makes it taste really good it really takes on the flavor of whatever you're using in that recipe that is so good i know the broth the broth is so good with all the cream so we didn't have any of those little tiny crackers that they put in them was there like some fresh chives or something on there no yeah. Soon. Soup crackers. Mmm. I'm gonna have a couple bowls of this. Delicious. We did a few of these videos earlier this winter where we cooked five meals with a star ingredient. Yeah, we did the salmon obviously in this one and we did potatoes and moose meat. Moose. And we were just talking about it the other day. My personal favorite was actually the potatoes. Making the meals with the potatoes. Yeah. I'm gonna say the potatoes also. For some reason, we got super creative with those potatoes and every single one just turned out awesome. What was your favorite salmon meal? Oh, probably this. This this is mine too. This is extremely good. It's like rich and, and buttery and creamy. It's so good. Before today, I was actually gonna say the salmon cheese tip, but this is my favorite. This is my favorite one. We are running low on salmon, but thankfully it's getting close to June and that is salmon fishing season. So we're gonna get out there and we're gonna catch some more fish. Thanks for watching. I just got a chunk of salmon. That's good. Oh, I haven't even tried the salmon yet. Well, I know the broth is delicious. I mean. Mm -hmm. Cheers to a new salmon fishing season. How Thank can you. you go wrong with this? It's really good.